Andrea Fallas from uh, Symantico uh, uh, with a PhD in biochemistry. She's now focusing as the user experience architect, which is still the coolest uh, job title you can have, I think, uh, delivering uh, solutions online for journals, books, uh, and other content with an update on what's happening at Symantico. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Jasper. Can, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Um, great. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about us uh, at Symantico first. Uh, uh, we're a digital agency and we work with uh, publishers and other clients um, across the kind of academic and scholar scholarly publishing sectors on both sides of the Atlantic. And I'm here today to tell you about one of our exciting new developments. Uh, it's a bit of a demo. Um, so uh, this is the uh, Royal Marsden Manual of Clinical Nursing Procedures, which we're working together with our colleagues at Wiley um, on the new online edition. And this is really a key text that's used by kind of nursing professionals and medical professionals all over the UK. We're doing quite a significant rebuild. Uh, we were lucky enough to um, have done the first version of this online product and lucky enough to continue working with Wiley um, on, on quite a big rebuild. And, you know, as, as, as digital uh, people, as, as technologists and publishers, we don't normally deal with matters of life and death every day. But because of the context of this product, and it's using clinical settings, we really felt that this was extremely important to take a very user-centric approach uh, to designing this. Here's the old homepage. Um, as you can see, it's not massively user-friendly. Um, there's some problems around access, um, and nor does it, you know, it doesn't work particularly well as a shop front for selling this um, product. And one of the interesting features about this product is that it actually allows users to come in and, and add their custom content to the publisher content uh, within the site. But again, it kind of suffered from uh, a, a rather clunky interface uh, and some other issues. So by analyzing feedback from our users uh, and talking to them, we actually discovered that this custom content uh, normally comes as PDF files, and we were able to quite significantly reduce the scope um, around this uh, to allow us to, to give a much more targeted and a better solution. For example, we can um, make use of a technique called solar sharding, which allows us, instead of having two separate content stores for the different custom and publisher data, we can just have one database and be much more re uh, responsive and, and, and flexible with our searching. Um, understanding our users also allowed us to have a very targeted development strategy. So knowing that 75% that of people uh, are using Internet Explorer 7 and 8 allowed us to kind of really bake this in to our designs. Um, and, and, you know, we, we've been able to uh, build in responsiveness and accessibility straight into the development process uh, in these lovely new kind of designs that work on the older browsers and, you know, newer smartphones and tablets. So this is actually taking you into some of the, the new design. This is actually screenshots from, from a build that's in progress. Um, and we've really been able to kind of spend time on design details, uh, like making use of the brand colorway, and this focus view, which takes you out of the previous view and into this kind of enhanced reading experience. The main site navigation has disappeared. It's still sort of accessible behind this here, but it really allows the user to concentrate on reading that content. Um, we've also been able to kind of enhance the browsing experience on the site. Um, for example, uh, by exposing a lot of content in these long lists here, um, but also working on signposting to different types of content and, and little navigation details like this element which kind of sticks to the stop, top of the screen as you scroll and just helps the user to not get lost in the site, which is one of the issues that we identified um, with the current um, sort of version. And this colorful slide just shows some of the complexities that we're up against when dealing with the sorts of data that we deal with. Um, this isn't what it would look like in the final build, but you can kind of see each element colored up in a different color. Um, and really kind of spending a long time uh, in consultancy with our colleagues at Wiley um, and collaborating on that content production process uh, to actually affect the data and change it allowed us to do things like make really powerful search results pages where you can at a glance distinguish different content types. And as I said, kind of all the learnings that we're doing now, because of this common data format that Wiley has started to introduce across all of their print and digital products, it means that the learnings we're, we're making now in this development um, will be able to kind of percolate through and, and, and bring savings further down the line.
So I'm out of time. Thank you all for joining me on this whistle-stop tour of um, the new uh, Royal Marsden manual. If you've got any questions, uh, my contact details should be appearing shortly, and you can also catch myself or my colleague Lorraine with the curly hair during the break. Thank you Thanks for so sharing, Andrea. Thank you so much. All right, we are um, we're at the end.